What's up guys, Court Order here. We are out today at this place that Doug got and I don't even really understand it yet, but I'm gonna give it a shot. <laughs> the house was built in 1910. It's a lot of concrete. Now he does have a good amount of grass on this side, even more in the front. The area is really old. It goes back to about the 1700s. So even though the house isn't super old, the grounds probably got some good stuff in it. Of course, it's me, Dog Tag Doug, Mexican Doug, Jane Fonda, Rich Van Winkle, and our good friend, Lynn, who, Lynn, by the way, I got you something. Lynn, I'm gonna ah! give you the first official <laughs> quarter hoarder hat. I don't know if you wear hats, Lynn. She does now. I well, look stupid in hats. When you're painting or something. It. Yeah, who doesn't love a free hat? Wow, so, yeah. thank so you. So Lynn is our good luck charm. <laughs> so we'll see how we do. We're gonna start in the front, back in the first dig. See you guys soon. Later. All right, I was getting my gear on and Doug and Rich started. Rich has a, like a little tiny apothecary weight type thing. I don't know what it is. And Doug just found this thing by the tree. It was in a bag. It was in a bag. Plastic bag, so it can't be that old. <laughs> yeah. And it looks but, like, move yeah. your hands to the right, Doug, so they're in the sun more. Oh, uh, how's that? Yeah, it's like some sort of a, can a canister that has a lid and a hinge Ooh, on it's it. It's furry. It's furry, yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's weird though. It was in a bag, almost like a buried uh, treasure thing. Yeah, let's Lynn open. thought a travel soap container. Oh, it's opening, Doug. Oh. Ooh, there's something in there. Oh, there is. Oh, it is. Yeah. Look at that. What's that? It's a chain. It's a chain. Oh. Nope, forget Ooh. the soap. And there's a ring. Oh, there, oh my Ooh, goodness. It's a travel jewelry box. The very first hole, Doug gets a bag with, let me see this. Lynn, can you hold this bag? It's a traveling jewelry case. Do you think that's real, oh. Doug? Well, look, look, let's look. I am looking. That's all I can do. <laughs> <laughs> it can't be that old. There's a barcode on the... Uh... Yeah. All right, let's clean up and get it into the sun, that's Doug, and we'll it's see. it's furry. It's been a velvet box. Yeah. A Doug, velvet but... soap dish. <laughs> what an interesting uh, first Forget find, though. Let's go clean it up. Yeah. All right, we came over to the side, and this is Doug's find. First find of the day. Doug, this is like buried treasure, real buried yeah. treasure. So Doug finds this bag, this Ziploc bag that was all beat up. And he didn't call me over when he first found the bag. He called me over after he saw this box was in there and we didn't know what it was. Turns out it's a velvet jewelry box. And of course he opened it up and it has this chain, which I don't, I think this chain is just like just steel, a, like yeah. junk. But on the chain was this ring. And, it, and at first glance, Doug, I thought it was gonna be costume and my camera's not gonna be able to pick it up. The sun's behind the clouds, but it's marked 14 karat gold inside. It is. Well, I saw it with a loop, but it's too tiny for my camera to pick up. Mm. And being 14 karat gold, those stones could be some sort of precious something. Yeah. yeah, I can't imagine they're total junk. Doug, this was buried treasure. Someone purposely yep. put this in the case, put the case in the watertight bag, yeah. buried it, probably forgot about it. And who knows how old it is? I mean, probably within the last 50 years, I'm gonna imagine. But you really found it, that's crazy. That is neat. I've never seen anything like it, Doug. Real buried treasure, and you got yourself a beautiful 14 karat gold ring with little gemstone hearts on if it. If anybody can identify those, uh, put them in the comments. Yeah, I, I don't even, what color are the stones? Uh, it's like a pinkish color. Well, Doug, that's amazing. I'm gonna hand you the ring. You might even wanna put the ring back on the chain yeah. until we get home so you don't lose it. Yep. Yeah. But incredible ring, chain. Yeah, on there. You could even like re-give this jewelry box to your wife later if you want. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She'll take it and sell it and run. Awesome find. Neat. All right, so Rich Van Winkle, who always starts off strong. Two wheat pennies in a row, yeah, back right, to back. Right here. But one of them, he yelled out, oh, 09, which is the first year. Which one's the, well, this one, I'll show this one first, Rich. 44 is that one. Yep, 44. I'll put it right there. In this one, you might be able to see it, but. This is the 09? Yeah, it's got the small O and the. Oh, I can see it, yep. Yeah, the yeah. nine is almost more. Now the 09, looking. the rare one is the 09S VDB. It's a little I, rough, that Yeah, one. I don't see an S. If it was, the VDB is at the very, very bottom. I'll probably put a picture of one up. And I think there was a VDB even for the plain Philadelphia, and then as well as the S. And the S obviously is like, you know, one of the holy grail coins yeah. of wheat pennies. But at least at the moment, I don't even see an S, so it's lesser of a grail. <laughs> it's like a medium grail. 
he if we, said that the house was started in 1908. Yeah, that's what he told me. In 1910. Well, so there's a good chance that maybe one of the builders could yeah. have uh, held or dropped that coin, Rich, yeah. which is nice. Mm -hmm. And even though the house, for our standards, is not incredibly old, this area is unbelievably oh, old. Find so this could have been a farm before. Yeah. There could have been another house here before. Who knows? That house looks just as old next door. Yeah, it should be a it should be a good day, and we're going to work out towards yeah. the front because even the road was an old stagecoach road going way back, Lynn. So yep. the sky's the limits. Well, pretty good. I'm going to go show them. We're going to put all our stuff on a little chair because they're really interested. Yeah. And uh, hey, make a fun day of it. All right, Rich, yeah. my first interesting oh, thing, at least. I'd say ooh. I don't know how old it's going to be, but up near the house, I just got <laughs> a little car. I love kids' cars, Lynn. I don't know if it's going to be an old one or a modern one. Well, 80s, 90s, or thousands. Like. Yeah, that looks a little too modern, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, uh, let me brush it down. It's a cool, is that a VW I bug? Like a, like a bug. Yeah, it's like an extended bug and it's got yeah. a tow hitch on it. Who tows things with their VW bug? Mm. All right, Lynn, there's my uh, VW mm. bug. It's actually, Lynn, a custom mm. VW bug according to the bottom right down there. Now this particular model VW is made in Thailand. Well. Yeah, because they get good mileage <laughs> when you make them in Thailand. And um, you know, if you have a, uh, a trailer that you want to go camping with, there's nothing better to pull it around in than with a VW bug with that nice trailer. Or, be, or is it the exhaust? It might be an itty bitty trailer. No, I think that is a trailer hitch. I don't know. Yeah, a little tiny one. Well, not super old, but I do <laughs> like it. And I think the wheels are actually supposed to be bowed out that way. I don't think they're bent. I'm looking at the uh, axle, it almost looks, I don't know, who knows, Lynn. But it's a cool old car. It's got a nice sunroof too, to get some extra air or dirt in this case inside. So. Is that like the car you just bought? I thought, <laughs> oh my goodness, I had a horrible car buying story, but I don't want to get into it. <laughs> but hey, nice find, I'll put it in the bag and we'll uh, keep on going. All right, Rich is finding something, but the homeowner came out, super nice guy with a whole little coffee drink selection for us thank you i mean you don't have to do that but i'm certainly not going to complain so uh what a nice little spread and we're going to work our way up in the front lots of uh wheat pennies so far from rich uh the cool ring thing for doug and my first uh car of the day that's our start be a little coffee and get back out all right we've been doing the front yard here for a while i think we've got maybe 10 wheat pennies nothing else notable to speak of and as I was walking along, I had a good signal here. It was in the mid to high 30s, like a 36, 37, Doug. Okay. Button. So I dug down and right here, I saw the shank. Can you see the shank right there? Oh, yeah. It's a nice little cuff oh, size yeah. flat button, Doug. But oh, wow. this is actually the first really old thing of the day that predates the house. Quite I'm gonna, 100 years. At least, yeah. Years and there, I can't tell there's a marking on it. So I'm going to cool. brush it and take it out to the sun a little bit, but hey, the first nice, really old relic of the day, yeah. an old flat button, completely nice, shank. pleasant surprise. <laughs> Lots of traffic in the front yard of this place, Lynn. Yeah, it's busy. But I cleaned off my button, and there she blows. Nice little plain cuff button, like I said, bent over shank. It could predate the house by almost 100 years. Oh, definitely years. predate yeah. the house. The house is only 1910. Right. But that means that there was something here, activity-wise, before the house. Yep. We're not finding a lot of it yet, but that's a good start. In the back she goes. Nice find. All right, we're doing the walk up because Dog Tag Doug, Mexican Doug, Jane Fon Doug, said he's got a piece of silver right up near the front. Let's see. Silver coin, Doug, or? Yeah. Where are you looking? Um, oh, it's in your hand. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. oh it's a rosy. Yeah. You're sure it's a silver one? Yeah, so I a couple it is. Oh, I see yeah. a five. Yep, 1950-something. Yeah. Look how deep it was. Mm. Doug, I think it's 1950 even. Oh, oh well, that good. would make you know, it You know what that is? Yeah. Birthday date. That's, that's yeah. Doug's yeah. birth year. Yeah, right. Everybody's buying me dinner tonight. Yeah, but as a D for Doug, this could be a oh. new lucky coin. Let's oh, see. Okay. Absolutely. Son of a gun, it does. Z. Look at that. 1950d you're 1950d yeah that's right well, way to go we'll give this a spray down in honor of and doug. i thought i was one in a million what number but was I'm it not. doug no. huh what number were you getting on it uh 49 47 oh it didn't go above 50 though no okay no. let's give it a spray down doug and we're gonna get a nice close-up of it yeah okay 
the lingo. All right, there is Dog Tag <laughs> Doug's Rosie. 1950D, I mean, the ultimate Doug coin right there. Yeah. And Theodore has never looked, oh, it's not Theodore. Franklin, isn't it? Delano, not well. even Delano. And, Delano. And I can see his hair. You know what, though, talking about Delano, I heard that he didn't even really have a middle name. He made one up. Really? Or was that Just Truman? Was that Truman? Harry S. Yeah. He, he Harry S. S. Oh, you oh. pervert. But anyway. I said S. We see the die. And there's the back of Doug's uh, dime. It's a slow day, so you can tell we're milking, milking time. Milking this baby <laughs> milking for all it's time. Worth. <laughs> this might be the greatest silver <laughs> coin of, of all time. Well, hey, Doug, way to go. 1950D. Yeah. Hey, hey, we're not killing it today, but we are creeping out. Some nice finds here and there. A bunch of creeps. Way to go, Dog Tag Doug. All right, we are still doing the front yard. Not a ton of finds, and Doug called me over. I don't know if he's got something good or if this is a game of pull my finger. This is a game of look on this tree. Oh, oh wow! Plastic. Those are all those lantern flies. Yes. Yeah. Wow, Doug. Should I go into action? You're supposed to kill them. Yeah. Yep. But Take I mean, holy shovel. cow! Look how every one of them is loaded. Wow. It was a shame, Doug, is even though they're terrible things for the environment, they're really good looking creatures, yeah. you know what I mean? Okay. And they're all gonna lay eggs on them. Oh! This is what your life is getting used to. Bing bing boom bing boing boing boing. <laughs> They make a funny noise when you yeah. knock them off a tree. All right, it's a slow do. day, so we are going to do a what's in the sand clump. Rich actually has a clump. Rich, I'm going to turn it over with your machine if you don't mind. It's hard to see what your oh, there it is, 49. Oh, 49. All right, let's take a look. Yeah, and look. Do you see an edge? I t oh, it Dude. looks bigger than a, a. It does. Than a penny. Could that be a token? Or could it be a, I don't quarter. think it's a quarter. I don't think it's a quarter. It's token. It's oh, maybe we'll get something interesting of what's in the soft dirt clump. Hey, what does it taste like, Rich? <laughs> <laughs> you first. Oh, is it a token? <laughs> yeah. It is a token. <laughs> Do you see anything on it? It's an yes. old, old token. I thought it said Sunoco, but it does not. Uh, ew. <laughs> oh, you can't read it? Well, oh. it's it's pretty corroded. It looks like it says S U N something. You sure it doesn't say Sunoco? I see. I saw S U N S. Yeah, that's what it looks like to me too. All right, let's give this a brush down. At least it might be something interesting. Yeah. Let's see what Rich gets out of it. Well, Rich's token did turn out to be a Sunoco. It looked like it said S-U-N-S, Suns Co., which we thought would you know, be a terrible, terrible <laughs> name, you know, like what a knockoff. Yeah. That's like having a store called Fall Mart, you know? <laughs> Usually there's a car or something on the back, but the back is very corroded, so we don't know what the heck it is. So not the greatest treasure. It's been a rough yard. We're squeaking out things here and there. But we're going to keep on going because, uh, hey, why not? We're here, why right? Why not? Well done. Thank you. Uh, Rich was digging a hole in here as so Doug screamed at the top of his lungs. I think he broke the neighbor's window. <laughs> but Doug, Lynn, I was standing next to him, as you were. He was digging a penny signal. I said, I hope it's an Indian because, it's, I, because it was coming up Indian numbers. And he handed it to me, and I was just going to hope it was a wheat penny. Yeah. <laughs> And then, lo and behold, uh, and look at that backside, too. Ooh, thank well, you. the backside's <laughs> always <laughs> attractive. The back is incredible. The front, I didn't really get a good look at yet. It's very you bad. You say a baby got back? Well, <laughs> a lot of the pennies we had were the same thing. One good side. Like, I can't even rub that off. It's going to need to really be cleaned. But the back is beautiful. Back look is, at that. Yeah. The shield, the one cent, very sharp. Let's see if we can get any detail. Maybe get a date, Doug. Only because it felt like it's thick. Kind of looks doesn't thick. doesn't seem like a fatty, though. No, but it doesn't seem like a thinny. You know? <laughs> okay. It seems it's like an you, in between. It's, it's like you after a pasta or... dinner and two desserts. You know, it's like <laughs> yeah. not fat, not quite thin. Yeah. Let's give it a brush down and see yeah. if we can get anything. My wife gives me a scowl if I order one dessert. <laughs> I know. Two, she would give me a 
shot to the rib cage. Well, oh. let's see if we can clean it up and see what's on this sucker. Yeah. But hey, great find either way. Yeah, I'm excited. Yay. All right, we got a nice cleanup of the Indian dug and uh, Rich did a good job on it. There is the back yeah. yet again. Beautiful back. Look at it glisten mm. when it hits the sun. Glistens. <laughs> and on the flip, we got a nice date of 1904, I believe it is. It's hard to see. I think right there I can kind of see it. So uh, the house was 1910. So this is the first coin that's older than the house. We got two relics that are probably older than the house, but first coin or first thing with a date on it. So that's nice. We'll uh, we'll have to show the homeowners. They're going to be ecstatic <laughs> to find anything uh, you know before the house. I might beautiful even find. Give that to them. I probably would. Too. It would be a nice yeah. gesture. I mean, yeah, how many Indians nice, you have yeah. at home? You've got enough to start your whole a whole tribe. <laughs> so. So we've been in the yard now for a good couple of hours. It's been a tough day, Rich, besides wheat pennies and a couple yeah. of things here and there. Uh, Rich does have a nice piece of horse tack, and this is 1800s also. Uh, is it a saddle shield, Lynn? I think it is. I know the leather came on here, and this would grab onto like some sort of a buckley saddle piece. Saddle shield or a might something have been on, on the bridle, yeah. yeah. I think it's definitely on the horse it's bridle. Definitely early. It's very early, yeah. The point on there is great. Is that even, uh, is that brass too, Rich, the point? I think it, I think it is. But it's early. Charlie found that nice etched one, remember? Yeah, I was hoping, but I don't see anything. Yeah, me neither. But it's a nice early piece. Like I said, it's been tough. A lot of modern stuff, Rich. Yeah. I mean, we probably have 25 memorial pennies. I've got four or five. I'm going for all the years of wheats today. Oh, your mom said I might get the whole state quarter yeah. set today. I got, I got like seven of them. Yeah. It's early. Doggy yelled out button. Let's yeah. take a look. Is it a button, Lynn? A real one. A real one. Want to show it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. May have Swear gotten hit shape. by the mower. Yeah. I uh, think that kind of back is the kind that are on, like, suits and vests and things like that. In fact, do you mind if I grab it? Yeah, go ahead. Is it a two-piece? Like, it was on, like, a, sh yeah, like a suit? Two-piece. Yeah. Uh, but actually, I think there was a stone in it, not a two-piece. If you see the bendy over edge with the little ridges on it. Oh, yes, That would yes. hold the stone in. So a fairly large uh, thing in the middle to be able to extend the, the whole base. Yeah, I'm picturing red or black around sort of stone. I or, green. or is a guy driving by singing. <laughs> is that Stevie Wonder? Cool not the guy, the song. Stevie rides his bike like... No, that, not the guy, is that the song he's singing? Oh, oh, oh. I don't think that's actually Stevie Wonder. <laughs> I hear Doug saying something's frozen. I know, I know, I know Doug sells body parts, Lynn, for extra cash. So yes, yes. I wasn't so, sure if there was a reference. It's a part-time job. What oh, that what's that? Is that a fishing weight? Uh, no. no, no, but it looked like it had some sure point. Oh yeah, it looks like a life, uh, um, uh, I was gonna say life jacket. Life, life preserver. Thank you, a life saver, preserver, life preserver thing. And that looks like it should move, but what does it do? Is that yeah. little lever, switch blade? <laughs> well, that'd be a really small little knife. <laughs> yes. You think a lighter, Doug? Huh? A lighter, maybe? I could see you flicking this down and maybe a flame coming up right there. Your guess is as good as mine. It seems that, that's, like it that's had my some lighter function. sound, Rich, uh, uh, Lynn. I knew that. Yeah, it's my lighter sound. It's, it's very authentic. I don't know, Doug. Yeah. That's an interesting, uh, whatchamacallit thing. Yeah. Well, has it metal? Plastic. It, this part's plastic, but yeah. this part up here, yeah. I guess, is metal. Not really. I wonder if there could have been an image behind this too, Doug. It kind of looked like it. Maybe like Gilligan on one side and oh, the skipper hey, you know on the what? other. Maybe yeah. on the other. Which one was better, Doug, Marianne or Ginger? Um, I like the one with the dark hair. Yeah, yeah, Marianne. She was the shorter one. She was the cuter one, right? Ginger. Oh yeah, Ginger was the tall. Ginger one. was the tall one that was like the movie yeah, star, I like but I always thought Marianne was cuter. Somebody had red hair. Yeah, that was Ginger. Yeah. Oh, that was Gilligan. <laughs> well, that was Gilligan. Too. That was Doug. Doug always told me he had a crush on Thurston Howell the Third. Yeah, I know. I heard that. <laughs> All right, Lynn. Rich said he's got something that's a little bit interesting. Okay. Well. Let's uh, see. Oh, oh, I know what you know that what, is. Do you know what it is, Lynn? It's a garter, um, for um. Yeah, for girdle those, for those uh, yeah. leg, uh, leg strapping a things. thing. <laughs> yeah, it's got some fancy on it too. It's hard to see. Real small around the edge. It's got some fancy lines on it. And it's complete too. Usually this piece up here is broken. <laughs> you know, not that this is a precious okay. heirloom by any means. Yeah, but how many suspender clips we find? Oh, a lot we of don't them. don't find. No, very few of them. Clip. 
That's cool. Yeah, they would have uh, held up some uh, young lady or older ladies. Held up the stockings. Yep, absolutely. So there's Rich's garter clip, and he saw some patent dates up on the top, and we kind of rubbed it off. It's 12 something 92 and 1231 95, which would be 1892 and 1895. I thought this was a little newer. This goes all the way back to the late 18s, maybe early 1900s. So the patent would have been on there for 20 years maybe, but much older than I thought, over 100 years old. So interesting little clip there that's got a lot of uh, age to it. Well done, Rich. <laughs> Thank you. you add it to your girdle collection. Lynn, not only did Doug find the only Indian of the day, but he found the only set of Indians on the day. Yes. As he yelled out, we so yet so another so far. Indian. Working on a tribe. Oh, that one's a dark one, too, Doug. Yeah, it is. Did you see it, Dave? Oh, yeah. 01. I see it. Yep. Not in the 18s yet. This one also has a better looking back than the yeah. front. Yeah. The other was 04, I yeah. think. Yeah. And was this one deep? No. Oh, they're all pretty shallow. Three inches, maybe. But there are a ton of roots here. Yeah. I'm sure they're holding on the channel. Well, that's good. I mean, man, I was sure would love to see it like a mercury dime or a barber dime. I thought I might have had one here a few minutes ago, but it turned out to be a uh, memorial. So. All right. Well, hey, awesome find the Indian, Doug. I'm going to grab my machine and join you. I was talking to the neighbor. Uh, well, no, why don't you go talk to the other neighbor? No, I need to find some. <laughs> nice big piece of grass. All right, Doug said he's got something. Oh, look at that, it, Doug. Uh, wait, do you Is see that... this design? It looks like a it looks like a like a fan or something. Oh. It's got a lot of weight to it. Sure does. I guess some sort of a pole, like a like a handle or like a you know what it reminds me of? You know that door for your basement that you lock rich in? It looks like that. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't know. Yeah. It's got a lot of weight. Maybe a, fr a fridge it's or a freezer. Brass, yeah, it's yeah. solid brass. And look, there's no holes that I see. No, no. Almost like I wonder if, you know, some things like slide in and lock. Yeah, and lock, yeah. Not that those are beveled enough to maybe hold anything. I don't know. I don't know. It's an interesting piece, Doug. Yeah. This must have been screaming. It must was. have been screaming like rich in your basement. <laughs> yeah. Too bad you didn't long dig that one anyway. Yeah. Well, I just plucked a really nice one. Yeah, Rich, this did not sound good. It was like in the low 30s. And, you know, you usually don't get rewarded with something really cool. I didn't even contemplate and in that digging good it. shape. Yeah, this popped right out. And if you can see the date on there, 59, 1859 is a first year fatty. The only Indian with no shield no, at the top. No, yeah. Yeah, no shield. Nice. All the other ones had shields and it doesn't look fat to me. So it could be war, but worn, darn it, yeah, darn war. it, worn. Yeah, Doug, how amazing is that? I It just popped out of the hole. My first thought when I saw it was, oh, it's gonna be another Zinkin. And then I saw the shield, I mean, the, uh, the Indian on there. Nice. I thought it was 69 at first, and then we looked for the shield, yeah, and who got super anything. rewarded. All right. That's good awesome. Job. I'll take really it. Nice. Would you like to hold it? No. I didn't mean I Indian. I already did. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Doggy, who's got the only silver coin of the day, is now doubling his efforts Double with Dutch. yet a second one. Double Dutch. Is that how deep it was, Doug? Just That's that little it. tiny? You see where my shovel went? Yeah. yeah. And I flipped it, and... It looks like a, a dime. I'll grab it, it for is, you. It is a dime. Did you yeah. see what it was yet? Yeah, let me give it to something. Oh, my goodness. Is it a year off it? Oh, I see it. It's a rosy. It's a rosy. Wow, I can't see the year. Hold on. It looks like five. I see 19.5, 50-something. Dog slobber. Shout out. To Ethan. So there's Dougie's dime. This one had a rough life, Doug. It's all really? pitted up, and yeah, I mean, it looks like a fox Not chewed right. on it. <laughs> but incredible. Way to go, Dougie. All right. Well, I was having fun before, but. Yeah. All right, Rich uh, has to try to get a button every hunt. Rich <laughs> loves buttons. Who, who doesn't? He got a nice concave button, full shank on there. And we're going to look for a marking or anything. The sun's in a weird spot, so I'm sorry for the shadows. And I didn't see a marking on this side yet, but he's going to brush it down and we're going to look. But way to go on the button club of the day. I know Thank you like you. buttons. Love them. It's been an interesting day of no relics, but you're starting to knock some out late in the game. Yeah. All right, we're getting ready to call it quits. And Doug, who detects all the way back to the car, got <laughs> yeah. rewarded this time. Yep. And we're going to do a little what's in the clump. May I? Yep. Now, this is the clump. And Rich noticed on this side, 
we know it's in the clump. There's a two-piece button in there. <laughs> we don't. Exactly. Now, two-piece buttons are always decorated on the other side. It could be military. It could yep. be anything. Could, could be, be police, anything. Could be anything. So I'm going to let Doug pop it out, and we're going to do what's in the clump on what's going to be one? some okay. sort of a fancy two-piece. We hope. Let's take a look. Looks kind of flat. Ooh. Ooh, it does have, I think. It's got to. It's got to have something on there. Does anybody have a brush that's not? Well, Doug's got the tidy yeah. little brush. Oh, anybody use this one? Maybe. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't. This I call the. Tidy. Let me see it real quick before you brush it and see if there's anything on it, it that I see. Oh, oh, it's a general service. Oh, general eagle. service. Yeah. Eagle button. Oh, the homeowner oh, came out. I'm gonna show. Him. Military. Can you see the eagle? Yes. So that's a uh, army general service. Maybe World War Two. Awesome. Doug. Could be World War One. He'll brush it, and that's the back good. marks on the back will tell you what year it's from. So he's that gonna, could have been the old man. Could have been. Maybe he dropped the button when he went to bury the ring, and <laughs> and he tripped, and all those all those memorial pennies fell out of his pocket. The figure's the last penny signal you get. All right, let's brush it down and get a good look at Doug's beautiful general service. Way to go, Dougie. Thank you. There is Dougie's button. Beautiful general service. Now, the homeowners previous to the ones here now, it was an elderly gentleman. From what I understood, he was like in his 80s or 90s. Very well could have been his, Rich. Uh, possible yeah, World War II. That's really cool. Yeah, we do know the former property owner's name, so we'll look him up and see if he served. It'd be cool to actually make that connection. But get around an old house like this, you can find pretty much almost anything. Awesome find, Dougie. Man, what a cool place that was. Now, all around the house, we might not have found anything super old, but we did get a small pile of Indian pennies, some flat buttons, a couple of silver coins, and the day starts off with Doug digging the 14 karat gold ring on a chain in the jewelry box, purposely buried in a Ziploc bag. I don't know if that was a wedding gone wrong, but what an awesome find, and it really motivates you to go back out and look for even more incredible things. And of course, if you guys wanna find some incredible things and you need some equipment, you can always shoot me an email, quarterhoarder, yahoo.com. Let me know where you live and what your budget is and what kind of terrain you plan hunting. Uh, you pick out the best machine for your budget so you can get out and find some of the incredible things like we do every single week. I'm telling you are going to love it. It's a hobby of champions. Right, boys, thanks for watching, everybody. Happy hunting, and I will see you on the next one. Later.